Welcome to ACO Tips and Tricks with Greg the Phone Guy. Our goal is to help you get the most out of your Avaya Cloud Office service. In this video, we will add an Algo 8301 SIP paging adapter and scheduler to your Avaya Cloud Office release 4 account. The Algo 8301 allows you to connect an analog paging system as a SIP device using the line or aux outputs as well as schedule bells and announcements. The Algo 8301 has an Ethernet connection, an auxiliary input, and an auxiliary output. It also has a line input and a line output, as well as a relay input and a relay output. To log into your admin portal, go to service.cloudoffice.avaya.com, enter your email address and password. Open the Phone System tab, select Phone and Devices and Paging Devices. Select Add Paging Device, name the device, Select Next. The provisioning information to register the ALGO 8301 will now be displayed. Once you have configured the ALGO 8301, select Done. The status icon will turn green when the device is registered. Repeat this process to add more paging zones or devices. Go to the Groups tab and select Paging Only. Select New Paging Only and enter the paging group name and extension number. Select Save. Select the paging group and the paging section. In the Devices to Receive page, select the ALGO 8301 and select Save. In the Users Allowed to Page this group, select the Users Allowed to Page the group and select Save. Enter the IP address of the ALGO 8301 in a web browser to log in. If you do not know the IP address, press the reset button and the IP address will be played through the outputs. Enter the SIP domain sip.ringcentral.com. In the page extension, enter the SIP user ID from the Avaya Cloud Office. Enter the authenticate ID from the Avaya Cloud Office for the authentication ID. The authentication password is the authenticate password in Avaya Cloud Office. Select Save. Go to the Advanced Settings and the Advanced SIP tab. Enter SIP10.RingCentral.com port 5090 in the Output Proxy. Select Save. To schedule a page of a pre-recorded bell or announcement, go to Scheduler and select Schedules. Select Create Schedule and enter the schedule name. Select a color to appear on the calendar when the schedule is active. Select Save. Select Add Event. Enter a description. Add the time of the event. And select the WAV file to play from the audio dropdown. Repeat this process to add more events. Select Save. Select Calendar and select the schedule from the drop-down menu. Double-click on the days you would like to use the schedule, select All Weekdays, or select All. Repeat this process for each month, select Save. Thank you for watching this video.